Homes were damaged, flights were restricted, and a woman was critically injured in Russia's Saratov region following a Ukrainian drone attack on Monday, according to Russian officials and news agencies. The incident marks a significant escalation, with Ukrainian forces striking targets deep within Russian territory, almost 900 kilometers, 560 miles, from the Ukrainian border. The regional governor, Roman Basurgin, confirmed the damage on the Telegram messaging app, stating that debris from the drones, destroyed by Russia's air defense systems, caused significant harm to residential buildings. A woman was hospitalized in serious condition, Basurgin reported, adding that doctors are currently battling to save her life. The Russian Defense Ministry announced that nine drones were intercepted over the Saratov region. The fallout from the destroyed drones resulted in considerable damage in the cities of Saratov and Engels. The Engels military base, a strategic site housing Russian bombers and previously targeted by Ukraine, lies within this region. Although no official reports have confirmed damage to the base, the surrounding residential areas suffered heavily. Video footage posted by Russian news channels depicted a high-rise residential building in Saratov with extensive damage, including shattered windows across three floors. Meanwhile, in Engels, the top floor of another residential building was also reported damaged. Russian media outlets reported that at least 20 cars were destroyed when debris from a drone crashed into a parking lot in Engels. Flights at the regional Saratov airport were restricted as a precautionary measure, with the airport's press service citing the ongoing security concerns. Emergency services have been deployed across affected sites in both Saratov and Engels to assess the damage and assist residents. The attack, which began at approximately 6 a.m. local time, has not yet led to further confirmed civilian casualties. The Ukrainian government has not commented on the incident, in line with its typical stance of neither confirming nor denying involvement in operations targeting Russian territory. This latest drone strike comes as tensions remain high across the region. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky addressed the ongoing conflict in his daily briefing, condemning Russia for its continuous strikes on Ukrainian territory, including a recent missile attack on Kramatorsk that injured several people, including international journalists. Zelensky highlighted the relentless nature of Russian aggression, stating, an ordinary city hotel was destroyed by a Russian Iskander missile deliberately purposefully. This strike injured seven people and took one life. He reiterated the need for global pressure on Russia, urging the international community to force Moscow towards peace. The world must not stop its pressure on the state of the terrorist, for the missile strikes, for Khabarovsk, for the assaults, and for this entire war. Russia must be forced to seek peace. Therefore, Sanctions against Russia and its associates must be fully enforced. Frozen Russian assets must be effectively used to protect against Russia. And the G7's decision on $50 billion for Ukraine from Russian assets must be implemented as soon as possible. A real mechanism is needed so that this year the funds support our state and people. There must be no delays in logistics for our defense. Our soldiers need to operate as required by the front. Currently, we have some loud announcements about defense packages from partners for Ukraine that have not been fully implemented for months. As the conflict between Russia and Ukraine intensifies, the Russian Defense Ministry reported the downing of 20 Ukrainian drones in various regions, including Saratov, Kursk, Belgorod, Bryansk, Tula, Oriol and Ryazan.